Hey guys, Zipal turning back for another video. So, I've been using Fujifilm as my main uh, video shooter for this channel. And I really love Fuji, uh, but the problem with Fuji is they don't have a camera yet, a pro camera that has a flippy screen that flips towards you. So, um, I needed to use uh, an external monitor um, like this Aperture VS1 uh, that I'm always using. I'm looking at it now. It's really useful, I'd say essential for this channel to be able to be what it is. But I'm really excited because Feel World reached out to me with this Feel World Master. This is a 5-inch external monitor. We're gonna find out if it's better compared to my previous one and how does it perform as well with this full review. unbox this first so of course this came from field world themselves from moment themselves so if you want to buy this uh, links down below for their shop of course uh, they gave me uh, the screen itself and some accessories so let's check out the accessories first it is the battery which is nice so this is uh, additional things that you can buy for your monitors okay and this is the charger and uh, this is a 5 inch monitor and the resolution is 1080p so definitely it's higher resolution compared to my VS1 so my VS1 is only uh, 480p it's uh, low resolution but it's 7 inch and uh, it's big enough for me especially for a uh, studio usage um, 5 inch full HD on camera monitor support 4k HDMI uh, input and output okay so features wise this is a 450 nits monitor that's 1000 to 1 contrast ratio a 160 degree of uh, viewing angle and it says that it has uh, accurate color reproduction in their website but of course we're gonna find out and compare it uh, to my Aperture VS1 so let's open this up so we have a very nice case uh, with the uh, you know field world uh, branding here okay so you're greeted with uh, this thing it does look like a hood okay so when you're using outside it's something that can block out the Sun and reflections this is the monitor right away but uh yeah we're gonna put this aside first and look at all the accessories so this is the hdmi cable this is another hdmi cable but it has a bigger plug this is mini hdmi the previous one and you also have a bracket okay so you can put it uh, maybe uh, on top of your hot shoe i see accessories wise pretty good package um, it does come with a lot of stuff, especially the bracket is a nice touch. You don't need to buy a bracket anymore. Okay, so the screen actually looks nice. It is a more edge-to-edge -edge screen than uh, what my Aperture presents. Um, this looks nice and really compact also. This is a lot more compact compared to my Aperture, which is uh, I'm going to compare in a few. And uh, on the other side, you have battery. And here, you have controls power up and down menu left and right and f1 and f2 here you have two hdmi um, slots hdmi in on this side and this side hdmi out and you have a power adapter here so you have uh, your typical thread here for your tripod and you also have dc out you also have headphone jack and usb upgrade for you to update the firmware and you also have another slot right here okay now comparing to my aperture 7 inch as you can see guys this is a lot smaller here in the field world uh, master which is very nice this is a lot more compact um this may be my daily drive right now this is super big and it is also cumbersome so here at the side almost as thin uh, but uh, if you can see the length it is really small in the field world that's a lot more connectors though in the aperture the AV connectors. It's almost the same uh, thickness here, but uh, it is really, really small. Um, definitely the screen itself um, fits the whole field world uh, monitor. So definitely if you are going for a more compact kit, uh, field world definitely is really, really nice. And it doesn't have the chin that you get with the aperture also. So this is more of an edge to edge screen. This is a nicely built a monitor okay build wise it's built of mostly plastic um, but it does feel substantial it doesn't feel cheap um, it is I would say medium in terms of like build quality um, in terms of the plastic quality it does feel nice um, it feels that even if you uh, you know 
use this every single day it won't bump down on you uh, but i would definitely take care of this this is not something that you can throw in your bag and it will survive this is i would say medium in terms of the plastic quality okay so let's plug it in and uh, this is the quality now of the field world monitor so right off the bat this is definitely a lot more high resolution compared to my old aperture so my old aperture is uh 480p so definitely it has less quality compared to this one let's check out the viewing angles viewing angles is not so bad it does decrease in brightness um but in terms of uh, the colors it is the same it's not bad it doesn't have a color shift but it does have a brightness shift um, but uh, the viewing angles is pretty good here so even if uh, there's a lot of people looking at this monitor you know you will be able to still see the image and uh, it is really sharp so, so the 5 inch monitor paired with a 1080p screen definitely it's a lot sharper compared to my aperture so definitely if you are looking for you know a sharp looking display again this is something that you might consider and again it works you know plug and play here in my fuji film so i just uh you know got the fuji film and just plugged it in here in terms of flare it does flare a bit um but uh, still you can see the image so definitely if you're aiming for an outdoor monitor you would need that hood to be able to view this visibly but inside in a studio situation this is definitely perfect the image is just sharp here okay so another thing that i do like is you have a lot of threads so you can actually put this in a portrait position which is something you know really interesting especially in 2019 um, a lot of more people are shooting you know um, insta video so this is very good for that you can put this in portrait mode compared to my previous aperture um, it doesn't have anything else you know it's just pretty plain you just have one at the bottom where i placed my gorilla pod and have brightness uh controls contrast sharpness and also color temp red green so so you do have a lot of uh, customization here standard mild user dynamic and step i would go for standard and the standard is pretty good overall um, the color is pretty good here zoom zoom mode scan mode center marker safe frames nine grid oh safe frames i do like that safe frames all right so you do have a lot of customizations here this is very nice also nine grid is nice there you go image flip anamorphic also that is nice Alrighty. so if you are definitely a cinema uh, videographer this is something that you can pick up also instagram false colors and it is also pretty bright um this is a bright studio but as you can see guys you can clearly see um the image here okay so this is me using the feel world monitor so um yeah uh it is very nice for vlogging you can really see that the, the image is so big um it is a lot sharper than my m50 um but uh, one of the key problems is you need to look up um for you to be able to see the monitor itself and it is a little bit farther than usual so um yeah you have that kind of look up situation here uh, but it is really sharp i mean if you are you know somebody who's gonna monitor um you can really use it and uh actually it is not so heavy also it is quite light let me record it also here in my fuji okay so it is very light <laughs> it's something that you can um carry without any problems it is something that you can carry without any problems i am really impressed by this you can definitely use this for vlogging um you just have that you know um looking up situation but this is really really sharp a lot sharper than my m50 i am more motivated to vlog now because of this thing um i just need to solve that uh you know look up situation um, but maybe I just need to, you know, get used to it. Uh, my face is just high resolution. This is the first time that I saw my face like this. Um, this is really impressive. So overall, in terms of features, I do like this. There's a lot of stuff that you can do. For content creators, for YouTubers, this is definitely um, really useful. And you can still also use it if you're a cinematographer, if you are into um, anamorphic. Um, so especially for uh, Lumix users, uh, they have the anamorphic mode. You can also use it for that. So it's nice and uh, I would say feature-packed um, for this small package. 
Um, definitely something that you can put in your pocket uh, but uh, is really powerful and definitely if you're vlogging you can maybe also use this so verdict for the field world master 5 inch so I really like this um, it is small the build is nice edge to edge screen um, pretty sharp image also nice viewing angles and uh, of course uh, that compactness it is something that you can bring in your bag and you can also use it for vlogging also so i really like this very high quality for a field world monitor and definitely as you have seen even compared to aperture um, this uh, better built uh, and also looks nicer compared to the aperture so if i'm gonna buy a 5 inch monitor i would definitely uh, recommend this definitely this will replace my aperture vs1 as my daily driver a really really nice product here sleek um, this is something that I can bring also in shoots outside I won't be afraid to bring it because it's that small compared to this big thing of course for some people you might prefer a bigger monitor 5 inch might be too small so if you like a bigger monitor you would also ask a 7 inch -er for you but definitely this is a good um, balance between you know um, quality and also portability because 1080p in a smaller unit tends to have sharper image so that is uh, sort of the use case here in the field world master so that is my review of the field world master monitor hopefully you like this review if you learned something leave a like and of course subscribe for more content like this in the future and i'm gonna see you guys in the next video goodbye